Installing Anaconda Python in your computer, it's not very difficult. Just look up Anaconda Python on Google, uh, ignore all the other suggestions, and you'll see that the first link is a download Anaconda Now from Continuum. So click on the link. and you'll be taken to the download page of Anaconda. If you just scroll down, there's a very obvious button, big green button, called Python 3.5 version 64-bit installer. It's also the 2.7 version, but ignore that one for now. Click on the green button. This offers you the opportunity to download a cheat sheet. It's quite a good one, so if you don't mind putting your email, they'll do that. I've already got it, so I'm going to say no thank you. Once it's downloaded, go to Show All Downloads, and you'll see the Anaconda installer. Just click to reveal it in the finder, and you'll see the installer is in your downloads directory. So if you've downloaded using another browser, just go to your downloads directory and you'll find it there. Double click on it and it, Windows will ask if you want to run the file. So click run and the program will in start installing. Just accept the defaults everywhere. Just say I agree, just me, don't want to install for everyone, not for now, say next. Just You can choose the directory but I, that's just a default and it's fine. And again, leave all these advanced options as the default. Click install. And this might take a little while. This has been shortened for your convenience. It's now completed. So if you click next and unclick the Learn About Anaconda Cloud, it doesn't take you to the web page, we're now ready to start running Jupyter Notebook. So I'll just close the browser. And I'll show you the first way in which you can do this. Go to Start, ignore the big Anaconda Cloud button, go to All Programs, Anaconda 3, 64-bit, and then click Jupyter Notebook. Window pops up. It can take a little bit of time. During this time, what it's doing is setting up the server to run on your computer. Some messages, and your browser should pop open with the learning page for Jupyter Notebook. And this defaults, this home directory defaults to your documents folder. And inside it's created a, a directory called Python scripts where you can keep your Python scripts. Okay. So this way is fine, but doesn't give you access to a lot of the folders that you might be interested in. Now there's some other things you can see like clusters, conda, they're not really important for now. I'm going to show you a different way of doing it, which allows you, gives you access to the full path of your computer. So I'm just going to move this to the side. I'll close this window. This is the only way you really close Jupyter. And I'll start it again. But now I'm going to type in CMD for the command window. This opens the command window, and I type Jupyter Notebook on the window. And you'll see this will do exactly the same thing as the other command did. The only difference being that now your home directory is home. So you can see your documents, your downloads, your favorites. This is probably the best way. If you want to access files you've downloaded from Blackboard, for example, this way you'll have access to all the folders. Here I'm just going to create a new Python notebook and you just use default it doesn't really matter which option you choose in terms of kernels and here we are our notebooks running